complete and got it. How you doing today? You're awake. Oh, thank God. It wasn't easy getting you back here by myself, you know. You collapsed on the roof. I collapsed? No, I... Wait. Does that mean... You... You must have gotten yourself infected somehow. between infection and zombification differs greatly from person to person. You're lucky, Frank. You seem to have a very high level of resistance. So, uh... <laughs> so what you're saying is that I get to spend longer waiting for the inevitable, is that it? <laughs> you know, I'm not sure lucky is the word I'd use. <sighs> the helicopter crashed. No one's coming to help us now. It's over for us, no matter what we do. <sighs> what if... What if there was some way to impede the infection? extract and administer a large dose of hormones from the corpus alatum of an adult queen, it would potentially hinder the growth of the larva in your blood, retarding the zombification process. Hey, hang on a sec. I don't understand a word you just said. What are we supposed to do? I'll need certain supplies to get this to work. And queens. As many as you can get your hands on. like a plan. She'll be sitting around here waiting to die.
because they don't buy items. Yeah, that's fine. I think I can manage. I have to make my way to the security room. Without getting caught by these guys. I don't have to go anywhere near over here. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head. I try to go up here to get the first aid med. There's something here, but I don't remember what this is. Because it's, it's one of the... All these question marks of the, the items you need to collect for Isabella. So go here. Cut through here. Grab this one. And then what I'll do is... Go over here. The shortcut should still be open. And if it is, then I can grab this thing, camera, and then go to the, the security room and grab the Mega Buster. Then head over here to the entrance plaza. Grab like three items here and then uh i guess cut through it's like i literally don't want to go I'm trying to think of an optimal route here i'll just be where this takes me it's gonna be kind of hard because I really don't like I really don't want to get caught by these guys because if they do capture me then I gotta do some like weird mini game there so glad yeah, that'll that'll help me a little bit Back. The target is fighting back. 
Jesus, guys, just uh, you know, good thing this is a food place. Oh yeah, eat some of that raw meat, yeah, baby. I should be good. I got enough. I got enough guns. That one. Uh. There we go. Okay, you got one item down. up a little just to be on the same side because those guys nearly kicked my ass. Luckily, it's not that difficult, because there's, it's just these special ops guys. Shortcuts. Be open. Night. Right, now, go over here because there's a staircase. Go upstairs. Ports. Where should be like. Oh, 
Lord, there's so oh, many of these guys. Luckily, I have made it to my destination that I wanted to get to, so I couldn't be seen. Uh, yeah, baby. Now I don't even need any of these. This is the Mega Buster. This is where it's in it, the bug. Coming here. Do a little faith be save. And what was it? Yeah, I get. Items in the entrance plaza, and then whatever is there at the uh, court. Lefty. Lefty. You won. Yes, this is the first game. The very first Dead Rising. I'm at the, uh, the land bit here. See how, like, watch this. Watch how fast we can go from boom, dead, boom, dead. Boom, dead. Boom, dead. Cause it's the real Mega Buster, like, Buster. Real Mega Buster. Chooks. Oh, they're not zombies anymore. All the zombies are dead. These are, uh, these are spec ops guys. They wanna capture me because I know too much. Don't do it, man. It's not worth it. They're like, wait, found him. And then they like immediately shoot you, even if you wait. They're like, we hate people. I didn't even fight back, what are you talking about? Ah! I mean, I'm fighting back now, but like, you were like, He's fighting back, I literally stood there, looked at you. Okay. It was a warning shot. Warning shot. Requesting emergency backup. Stop! 
No. Uh, you know what? I'd rather not. I'm telling you to stop. I'm gonna keep going. Keep killing you guys because you won't leave me alone. You are. Oh. I guess don't R something. Running gun! Running gun! Running gun! Wait! I grabbed everything. Only thing I didn't grab was the queen. That's okay. So, this drug that stops the parasite growth ever made it before, or is it just a theory? When I was working in the medical lab, my brother asked me to research a method of suppressing the parasite. Of course, back then, we didn't extract the hormones directly. We synthesized them in the lab. <laughs> so, he was looking to protect himself from his own terrorist scheme. He wanted a way out, is that it? I don't know! I know he didn't bring the drug with him here. I have no idea what he intended to use it for. 
You think I'm just making excuses. But Carlito kept things from me. <laughs> even if this, uh... Even if you do manage to make this drug, it won't completely cure me. Will it? I'm afraid not. When the effect wears off, the parasite will develop as it normally would, continuing the zombification process. Fat lot of good that does me. This is all I need as far as supplies are concerned. Now all we need are some queens. Yeah, uh... Listen. Just how long do you suppose your drug will prevent me from turning into a walking corpse? During my research, I was never able to conduct proper clinical studies. To a certain extent, the period of effectiveness depends on each patient's physiology. It could be a year. Maybe only a week. There's no way to tell for sure. Fantastic. So, I'll be a walking zombie time bomb. A time bomb? What? Once the drug's development was complete, Carlito poured his energy into starting an NPO dedicated to helping war orphans. We had 50 doses of the drug prepared. Not long after that, the NPO managed to find homes for a large group yeah, of children. Yeah, lefty, you, uh, you have a good one. Want to guess just how many? Infected these kids and then gave them your drug? That he made 50 little ticking time bombs? I don't know. I just don't know. It is possible, though. Look at this. New York, DC, LA. These kids are spread all over the country. If your theory is right, the entire country could be crawling with zombies by now. I don't know what's worse. That we don't know for sure, that we can't warn anyone about this. Well, what we need to do right now is prepare the hormone and get you taken care of. <sighs> it seems like a good plot point. Uh, I don't know. You mean he made 50 ticking time bombs? I don't know. If I knew my brother's plan, I would tell you, but I don't know. Quit asking questions. Get away. Ah! 
trash. When we go here, uh, I'm gonna go make over here to the plaza, right? Because, uh, what I need now is upstairs. This is a very effective and easy way to get through this, by the way. Because you didn't take this blender up here. What? It's all nothing. I'm not trying to get away though. Yeah, you know what, I'll drink it to you. So, I have 12 inventory slots. So I'm gonna do that. Now, I don't want to drop my weapon. But, just grab a whole bunch of these. Right? Then you just paint here and you keep making them. Every nectar you make will spawn one of these queens. And you need ten of them. I mean, it sounds stupid, but uh, the reason why you want to make so many is because you're going to be using them as healing items, and if the nectar on the bottom right goes away, that's a free, that's a free queen, and they always spawn whenever, like, you drink the one, as long as that that term isn't next to your kills. But the specific reason why I'm doing it this way is make sure I can get enough where I'm going. Which is outside, because the, the zombies are still outside. What we do is, uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all these nectars, and I'm going to head this way, and I'm going to go down these stairs and head out the door. And then I have to fight a boss. Boss is gonna suck.
Another way to tell if they have it is, uh, see that guy? He's got his hand, like, dingling up. That means he has a queen on him. Little, little telltale signs. And the nectar helps with bombing more of them. But usually, if they have the, uh, if they have a queen on them, they usually won't move. They'll just stand still with their arms up. That's why we, uh, we are looking. Like, damn, this one right here, he has one. get to a point where if I see more I have to start dropping my uh my thing. That's four right now. I need six four. I get lucky finding them out here, but where we're going to need to go is over here. Like I said, uh, the underground, the underground doll has a lot of zombies. So, just thing here, you can't hurt you with a car. I'm gonna go down here.
通。Almost there. As I don't use it. Well, hey, Mari time. We're doing good. We you were collecting queens. Uh, I got them all. So now I can move on to the final part of the, the overtime. Because usually that, that's the most time consuming part. Getting the queens. That's like the fastest way you can get like 10 queens is by going down there. Oh yeah, you gotta individually. Ten queens, and then she gives you the thing where her generator broke, so she can't work on the vaccine. So now we gotta come back out here, and you gotta find the generator. And I remember that does the generators by the uh, the crashed helicopter. back outside. I think it's because it's nighttime. The helicopter isn't out here. But there is supposed to be a helicopter that I'm that when I was doing this part it like shows up to like fight you. But I think that's during the day. Yeah like over here He might show up here. I don't remember.
thing leads out of here, I doubt these zombies would just let us walk right through. You can get it on Xbox. The newer, like, your, your Xbox tubes. Like, they have a download of this, along with the other games. And we could play co-op in the other games. Alright, now the helicopter's here and he wants to freaking play. get an achievement like I don't technically have to fight him but like he is an achievement to beat him so what I normally do oh. Oh. is not get hit by missiles like but if I were to eh, fight him, oh, the Mega Buster will take quite a few shots to bring him down. And it's very, very hard to like aim because the projectiles are really slow. But like, if you manage to hit that helicopter a few times, it'll go down. Because like. The real Mega Buster is like literally like the strongest weapon in the game. But he's completely optional. Like you really don't want him to fight him. Unless you really want that achievement. She's like, bring me a queens and I'll get started. Since I already did that, like, now you just hand her all the queens. I need <laughs> at least ten more, Frank. Go. See, if you skip the dialogue, you would be like, how many am I supposed to give her? Like, she tells you in the beginning she wants ten. Now, now you're halfway, so she needs five more. Thanks, it's not like I already foresaw this and prepared for this. <laughs> But well, once you give her the 10, then we reach the, like, last leg of the, uh, overtime mode. Like, I wish I could... I wonder if that'll be, like, a quality of life. Like, you can just give her straight up 10 instead of... Like, if you have 10 in your inventory, you just give her, like, 10 without having to, like... Do each individual one. The jewel. You're gonna inject me with that, huh? Okay, Doc. Let's get this over with. My favorite part is she didn't even prep or anything. She just jammed that shit in there. At least I won't have to worry about turning into one of them for a while. Okay. Next on the agenda. Figure out a way to get the hell out of here. 
while I was isolating the hormone, I managed to identify a pheromone that suppresses the attack instinct in adult parasites. In other words, the zombies don't like the way it smells. If you give me a little more time, I should be able to produce some of this pheromone. They think it smells bad? You think we could use something like that to keep them away from us? We could just walk right past them and get out of here. In theory, yes. Either way, it's certainly better than nothing. There was a cave outside where the helicopter crashed. It was packed with zombies, I mean shoulder to shoulder. But it may lead somewhere outside. If it works, your anti-zombie perfume, it could keep us safe in that cave. Mm, anti-zombie. What do you say? You ready to get the hell out of here? There won't be enough of this pheromone to waste it on experiments. We'll only have enough to use it once. Whatever you say. I don't know, but considering how many of them keep pouring out of here, it must be connected to something. Isabella, look. Any other way out of here is guarded by the military. If we're gonna get out of here and put a stop to Carlito's plan, we've got to go in there. It's the only way. It's not like we're unarmed. We got your smelly perfume, don't we? <sighs> I wouldn't be alive right now if your shot hadn't worked. The perfume's gonna work, too. I know it. All right. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, this is the last leg of this mode. All right. And luckily, it puts a save point right here, so I don't have to do it all night again. Very great. What you do is you want to hold hands with Isabel, at least try to, and then what will happen is these guys will get like knocked over. But the problem was is like literally have to hold. Hands. Man, you fucked up there. Oh, yeah. My 
I holding your hand or what? Like, it's very hard to tell. I mean, that's one way to clear a tunnel, I guess. Oh yeah, as you progress, as you progress further on. As you progress further on, you might have noticed it's very subtle. It's very subtle, but her pheromone. Her pheromone is actually running out, so like... So it's like holding her hand becomes less effective. Given move and so uh, becomes important. Don't go there yet. Knock off!
Oh, come on. Well, you're gonna get shot. That's gonna be really expensive. Sure, this was a good idea. Guards here, too. If we can get that gate open, they'll be too busy dealing with zombies to notice us slip by. Wait! The pheromone is starting to wear off. It's only strong enough to cover one of us. What are you. What All are right, you hang doing? on tight, okay? Once we're out, let's see if we can't steal ourselves that set of wheels. I should have brought OJ. Right. going. Well, we'll see, because I, I only have one hit. And most of the boss, 
Almost a boss fight against Brock decides to heal me. I honestly don't know. Yeah, damn. Damn would have been a very tough oh, play on the hell of a Basically, you want to shoot at anything with a light. It's basically like a shooter thing. Just... and then you'll you'll get them like damn, damn. Now the the final final battle. These automated machines are no use at all on the battlefield. Switch to manual control. My men mopped up the mall. On a mission in which the number of targets is unclear, it's difficult to ensure absolute thoroughness. Huh. You have imagination. That's what drives you in your quest to run. Your quest to hide. As prey, you and your kind are much more stubborn than the zombies. How much do you know about the zombies? I commanded the Santa Cabeza cleanup operation. We're like at the very, very. If we had fulfilled game. our mission, then we wouldn't be needed battle. here now to take care of this incident. Well, how was your stream? That's all it was to you, huh? A mission. 
What about those innocent people who had to pay for sins committed by our government our and its inhuman have research? Not begun with this operation. <laughs> Humanity has proven itself to be quite adept at making mistakes. Ha! Hell, it's the only thing we truly excel at. Well then, I'd say this mission isn't quite over yet. Don't you agree? Now, this guy will block mostly all your attack, and if he knocks you off the tank like that, it's the, it's the best way to get back on the tank. But the trick is, is you want to not, like, watch his combos and, like, get the hell back up on the thing. You just, you want to double lariat. Opportunity right there, right there. That was the spot. When he does the charge, you double lariat him in the back, and then you just wallop this guy. And we're done. GG. We, we finished that rising. All oh, thanks to Whisper reading it. And you get to hear this cool ass song. But yeah, uh, yeah, at the end of Dead Rising 1. Now, back in like 2006, that was like the ultimate, like, what the hell happened to them? They don't, they, they don't show what happens to them. Yeah, that, that, that was it, back in 2006, like, 
before Dead Rising 2 and stuff came out, like, that was the ending, and you're like, well, what the hell happened to him? And then you hear about Dead Rising 2, and you think, oh, he might be back in the second one, like, but then you play as, uh, you play as someone else, you play as Chuck, Chuck Green. But that, that right there, uh, there, there's different endings, so this is like the s rank ending, this is like the best possible outcome ending. And then it goes from A, I think it goes from like A to F, with F being like, you just die, and then they show like a little scene. Well, overall, the game is great. It has a great new game plus mechanic. Uh, if you know what you're doing, because you're, you're continue, you keep playing it, right? Like this is a game designed to keep playing it over and over again because it's it, it's fun to beat up zombies and like you you. The time mechanic is a letdown, but because you keep everything in the next playthrough, even if you die, like your levels and stuff, like, it just gets progressively easier the more you keep playing it. But, um, the requirement for endings is very easy too. It's not like super convoluted either. It's just follow the cases, be there at their times, and then when you're at the facts, that's when you know you're in the clear. Like you do whatever little bit you have to do for the fact, and then you're you're done with the game, and then it unlocks the S rank route. Visual pointing out, there's a link to the Discord if people want to come in and hang out. Hang out. Uh, if there, in case something comes up, I'm sure they can see it. Oh, I got what I mean. Special, the special ops. And it's like infinity mode. So what infinity mode is, is basically survival mode. And I'm not doing that, but you, you still get more unlockables if you do it. The problem with it is, is that um, as time progresses, like real time, your health drains by one block every so many minutes in real time. And the point of the mode is um, there's an achievement called Seven Hour Survivor. And you get, it, it's not like the best item in the game or anything. Uh, I don't even remember what it is, but it's very. It's a very underwhelming item. The five day reward is actually better than the seven day reward. You wanna believe that. Uh I can probably look it up because I I honestly don't remember because it wasn't really worth it unless I really, really was that bored. Reward it give you 
Oh, it gives you... It's not worth it, but it's a very big Capcom reference. It's uh, Arthur's Boxers from Ghost and Goblins, or, or basically the G&G &G series for surviving seven days. The five-day reward is a lightsaber. That's well worth like the time for that. But yeah, Arthur's Boxers isn't exactly worth it. Gotta figure out what the... Here we go. Frank West managed to escape the town of Willamette. Yeah, this part, uh, Carlito's plan, like, it expands in the second one. And this line, Billy was not a fool. It makes you think that, uh, like, back in 2006, that, yeah, he survived, but, like, he turned into a zombie or something. It gives you this nice prompt, in case you want to play it again. You can, and then it puts you back in the title screen.